Let's get you rendering real quickly. Now there's the proper way to render and you'll get into that in another video, which means going to render settings and setting a bunch of things and we'll be back here in a moment. While you're working in scene, you just want to see your render and you want to have the ability to save out your render. Go to Arnold and render. Wait for the pop-up window to show up. Your scene's being rendered. Here's the percentage amount of the scene that has been rendered. And there's a few settings that we'll get into in a moment. Hey, before we continue, just want to ask you to subscribe, please. Click that magical button and make me happy. Now on to the video. When all the dots are done, that means your scene is finally there. Now, this is real-time preview, so move around in the viewport, live adjust what's happening right here. And it's bi-directional. You click on this creature right here, you can see it's selected in the viewport. Click on the building and the building selected. I'm going to switch around the rotation just a little bit, get a little more of our critter in here. Now, as you're moving around, if the rendering is dragging down your system, you can always hit this red stop button. And now you can just freely move around without that live preview happening. When you're ready to start rendering again, all you have to do is click the play button right here. And again, when this hits 100%, that means your rendering's done. Now, you might be making little adjustments along the way. This camera icon. You click on the camera icon, it'll take a snapshot. Then you can do some type of adjustment. I adjusted the light to be red and a lot more intense. And when it's done rendering, I'll take a snapshot. This is the current render, and this is without the light. If you want to get rid of a snapshot, just right click and select delete snapshot. Again, right click, delete snapshot. You're ready to save this image. Go to file, save image, give it a name. And on a Mac, make sure you type in .png so you get a high quality image. On a PC under Windows, you would have a drop down menu allowing you to select JPEG or PNGs. Stick with the PNG for now because then you don't get a compressed image and click on save. Now there's a few other things that you could do to this image. Click on settings, go under add imager, and you could select from many different color correction tools right here. Exposure, I'm gonna go for color curves. See that, just the image like this. Exposure, it's a simple one to deal with. If you want it to be brighter or dimmer. And if you don't like that, just remove it. Back under Imager, denoise in case there's a little too many dots hanging out after the image has rendered. I'll re add color curves to it. And this is separating to RGB. Separate into RGB, R, and G, and B. So either individually or together, you can brighten, pull down the value. If you want to pull down reds only, use this or pump up reds into the scene. And that way, the red glow is leaking out to the front of the scene. Now, to adjust the aspect ratio of this image and all the settings, you click on render settings and under common. Right now, the image is 640 by 360. Let's say you want it in a square, 640 by 640, or 1080 by 1080. Enter the information here. This includes the Arnold render information. You want it to be more high quality. Click on adapted sampling. I don't recommend this when you're just starting out, just a little later on. When you want some better quality, just click enable. This could take a little longer to render, but it'll be well worth it. And then maybe you need to apply the denoiser just to make it look like a great image in the end. Now I'm going to uncheck that just because of the amount of time it will take to render. When your image is done again, remember to save it is going under File, Save Image. Make sure you add .png. Click on Save. 
Take two. Hope you enjoyed this quick start covering the Arnold render view.